Howdy y'all, today I'm gonna show you how you can install Jesse Dean's target light on your Omni turntable. All of this is what you'll need to install the target light on your Omni. First up, you'll need a Jesse Dean target light. It also comes with this breakout board which is really nice because it means any future modifications you can just add it to one of these spare um, slots. Two spade connectors. These are for sliding onto the switch. Obviously you need a switch. I would recommend a two prong switch. I got a three prong switch um, I think it's because it, it was the only type I could get my hands on at the time. A soldering iron, wire, stripper, crimp tool, um, yeah and that's pretty much it. I forgot to um, include the step up converter in our parts uh, list. So this is very important, obviously without it nothing works. Okay, so I hope all of you have your soldering irons ready. Um, what we're going to do is solder all the cables to the step-up converter. Where is my solder? Where the heck? Oh, damn it. So I've got the solder here my soldering iron oh you know i might as well give you guys a look at my brand new old watch yeah, this is my retro uh, super mario watch from the year 1990 uh, i love this Nobody watch cares. Um, bought it as new old stock anyway any, any anyway 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 with your step up converter on the inside We've got power being supplied from the circuit board and then going out to the target light. Pretty simple. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh. I forgot to snip off the freaking sleeve. Where is my wire cutters? All right. And that's it. So that is the step up converter done. So it goes from the board. We're going to solder this end to the board. And then it goes out to the target light. Not exactly to the target light, but to the breakout board. But I'll get onto that later on. Another thing I forgot to mention in the parts list is this rubber washer here. Now, the reason I've got this installed is because it helps. Um, elevate the target light because the platter on the Omni is a bit high you need to then uh, raise the target light as well so yeah forgot to mention that so now we are going to solder the step up converter onto the circuit board I've already unscrewed everything and when you're taking this out Make sure you disconnect the, the battery cable. Okay, so this is the important section of the circuit board. Uh, it has a legend written next to it which explains what each of these connection points are. Uh, we've got a 3.3 volt connection and we have a ground connection on the top row and we have the same for the bottom row. So I'm just going to use the top row. It doesn't matter which one of these you use, but just remember this is your positive, that's your negative. 
uh, here's your 3.3 volts and here's your ground connection uh, what's nice is you have a spear so if you wanted to use another step up converter you could do that but I'm going to show you I mean I've not tested this myself but what I'm thinking is when we use the Jesse Dean breakout board we can just use that instead of connecting anything else to the board um, I'm not sure how much uh, peripherals we can connect without there being issues but um, we're gonna solder the step up converter to these two connection points here all right so slide this out hopefully you all can see this Okay. Let's solder it to the board now. So remember the outer one is your 3.3 volts and the one next to that is your ground. Hopefully that is all good. Alright, it's not pretty but yeah. So let us put the board Back now. Okay, so let's flip this around. Now is a perfect time to install your target light and also your switch to. Actually, where are my manners? I forgot to show you where I've installed mine. So this hole you can see here is where I installed the target light. And here is where the switch is. The hole for this, it's, um, hold on. Okay, so you need to drill a six millimeter hole and for the switch you need 12 millimeters now that's for my switch i should explain that um, obviously if you're using a, a different switch you then need to you know obviously drill the right size hole so yeah anyway let us continue i know you guys can't see this but I'm just feeding, feeding the target light through the back or through the front I should say and I think with the Jesse Dean uh, target light kit it comes without the uh, JSD connection at the end uh, which is good because it means you can feed the target light through the hole like you see me doing here and then when you're all done that's when you would put on the connector don't know if I showed you so here's the connector but yeah we'll get to that right we'll feed this through so now I've just fed the nut through the back side and now I'm just going to Great on no homo though. All right, so that's on. Now we'll install the switch. Also, the reason I installed a switch, I didn't want the target light to come on every single time I switch on my Omni. So it seems a bit silly to have it on non-stop. Okay, now we have the target light installed there and we have the switch right here. And now it's a case of wiring the target light to the switch. 
Okay, I'll just explain in briefly how you wire a switch. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done any of those sort of electric circuit um, bulb what? thingies. Bro, what, what we're are gonna you do? About, man? We're gonna take the ground from the target light, and we're going to pop on a what is this called again? A spade connector, and then we're gonna connect it to the switch, and then we're gonna take the other end of the ground cable. And we're going to also connect it to this switch um, and then the, the end of the ground cable will be connected to the JS con uh, JST connector I mentioned earlier. Alright so we have to strip the cable a little. Done. And here is the other. Maybe that's a bit too much but hey ho ho hey all right okay so we've got our spade connector now we push that through the hole that's what she said <laughs> push it in as much as you can you take your crimp tool hopefully you can see enough of this you press now try and press pretty firmly not too hard you don't want to decapitate the spade connector but just enough for it to hold the cable in place. Okay, so hopefully that's enough. You can give it a little snag to test it. All right, so same again. And and I should point out, you're, you're gonna be crimping this middle section here. All right, push, two hand styly, and then release. That's good to me. Okay, so now if you wanted, you could just pop this on one of the prongs. So we've got that there. And then pop that one on. And here's where we put on our JST connector. You've got to make sure you put this in the right way around. So I don't know if you can see, I actually can't reach the this cable up to the cam, but under the, the crimp bit, there is a little nub and the nub goes over these little lips so then it locks into place. So you push upwards and it's locked into place. And I should mention, so with the Jesse Dean breakout board, you need to make sure that when your JST connector is this way, you need to have the positive on this bit and then the negative on that bit. Hopefully that made sense. I've even done it wrong here, so I'm gonna have to start again. But it's an easy mistake to rectify. All right, come out, come out. Yes, okay. So now I can start again. The positive will go on the right side. Bam. And then the negative goes on the left side. Boom. Okay, so that's done. So, yes. So you got the positive, that no interruption, that just connects to your JST connector. And then with the negative, remember we snipped it in half Put one uh, bit on one of the prongs and the other to the, the second prong. Um, and I would recommend getting a two prong switch. Having a three prong switch, there's no problem with it, but a two prong switch is more than enough. I also forgot you need a JST cable with a female end. So this is male and it goes into the female and I completely forgot to mention that, my bad. Um, anyway, so the way this works is this is an input and it goes into the breakout board. We connect the step up converter to the breakout board. Then from the breakout board, it sends power to the target light. So we then connect the target light to this port here. 
feel like I'm missing something. I think that's about it. Holy smokes. Yeah, that's it. All right, let's just make sure this works. We'll just pop the back on. Take the lid off. Switch this bad boy on. Uh, where's my power at? Crap. I've run out of juice. I'm such a dummy. I didn't, I didn't connect the battery cable back to the circuit board. Whoopsie daisy. All right. Okay, dope. Take two. Take that off. We've got power. Let's kill the lights to set the mood. All right. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Just gonna twist this a bit, twist it in place. Yes. And that's it, that's the end of installation. And I'll just recap uh, what was done. So basically, we connected a step-up converter which boosted the 3.3 volts to, let's say six volts, because the Jesse Dean target light can't be powered uh, unless you give it a minimum of six volts. I believe I read that on, on his website. So yes, from the circuit board goes to the step up converter. And if you're wondering, for those who have never used the step up converter, I mean, it's, it's kind of my first time as well. You have this gold screw. I don't know if the camera will focus on it, but that gold screw there is where you twist, so you kind of need a, a little screwdriver. So what, what you would do is you do everything that I've shown you to do. English, mother uh, you do power you on it? the Omni and you turn this screw until you see light. So don't be alarmed if when you install it, you don't see any light. It just means out of the box, it's been set to the lowest voltage. So you turn this until you get uh, some light from the target light, but yeah. I hope this guide was useful. Any questions, ask in the comment section. That is all I've got, so I'm out of here.